Hey you guys, Nick aka the one only Crisis YT, and today I'm going to be teaching you guys how to render multiple videos in Sony Vegas at the same time, also known as batch rendering. So first off, let's go ahead and open up Sony Vegas. I have it preloaded here because I didn't want to wait. File, open, open whatever videos you want to batch render. You can also take and do separate videos, so if I want to render, we'll do three videos here. And now I have three separate videos with this video being split in half. Now how you want to do this is you want to create some space in between each of the videos that you have. Now it doesn't have to be a lot, literally it can be a millisecond and that will be completely fine. But once you've done this, you want to simply double click on the video clip and bam, there you go. There you have it, it's that simple. So let's go ahead and start with the first one, bam, hit R, and now we need to name what we want this video to be called. So it will be first video. Now you have to remember that this will not be the title of the video when it's rendered out, but it just helps you know what is what. Now we want to move on to the second one, double click that, and then again hit R. A 2 is going to come up on our screen, and we are going to hit second video. If I can type. And then for the third video, let's go ahead and split this up and do some multiple clips. Because, you know, if we double click on this clip, it'll just select that. We want to select everything. Well, that's actually really simple too. You see these triangles? Just double click on any of the clips that are involved in the video. I'd recommend clicking the longest and then drag this yellow triangle to wherever you want the video to start, which is right there. Now, we hit R and all of those clips will be rendered together and this is our third video. So there's that, right? Now now you have all your render sections set up. You can do as many of these as you want. Whenever I'm doing my Grand Theft Auto Let's Play, which I'm working on right now, I mean literally I'll sometimes have 10 different tracks because I do a really long play session and it edits down to 10 different tracks. And so this is how I do it. I just name them like this. And then once we're ready to render, we simply go up here to Tools. We go Scripting batch render and now we want to click or select once it loads it will take a minute because my computer is using a ton of RAM right now but once it loads we want to go to whatever we want to render it out as now I'm gonna render it out as Windows Media Video 11 and I'm going to use my Elgato render settings you can use whatever you want now how you select this down here is render regions now I don't know if this really matters or not but I always do render regions and it's always worked for me. If you guys in the comments, you know, if that doesn't matter, let me know. But I, I think it's just by clicking a button, you can be safe. And then hit OK and the render will start. Now I'm going to cancel that so my audio doesn't lag and things like that. But nevertheless, guys, I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. It really helps me out. My name is Crisis YT, and uh, I'm out, guys. Peace. And here's some videos you guys may have missed. On the left is Only You Can Change Your Life. And in that video, I talk about how the only way that you can change is if you want to change. And on the right is Crisis Craft 2.0, Episode 9. And true this, I haven't recorded that video yet. So go check it out. Um, hopefully it's good. And the video on the center of your screen is the Crisis Hub video. It's an amazing, amazing video from a great director. All of our Crisis Hub directors are great. So go check out that video. If you've never checked out the Crisis Hub, now is the time to do it. Go check it out. Nevertheless, guys, hope you enjoyed this video. I'm Crisis YT, and I'm out, guys. Peace.